In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the fade in effect. Um, now, of course, you are dealing with individual frames, so you could manually um, fade something in by making one object here at a certain alpha level and then um, you know perhaps a very low alpha level and then as time goes by um, you know you insert another frame where the alpha level is a little higher and a little higher and if you did it just right it would look like a fade in well just like with tweening I mean you could do all that manually but it would take a long time <laughs> to insert individual frames that move um, so we have a shortcut for that so first of all I'm going to show you how to um, fade in with some le lettering or text so I'm going to choose the text tool and it's a little too small so I'm gonna make it kinda big 85 and I'm gonna choose test fade how's that sound and I think I might make it bold just because um, and I'm gonna use our align tool which I so love to stage I'm gonna align it vertically and horizontally and now we're right in the middle test fade alright now in order to do this fade in we are going to um, need to convert it to a symbol so make sure that it's selected we either can right click or modify uh, convert to symbol F8 like we've been doing we want to make it a movie clip that's fine I'm just gonna leave it named symbol one and now now that we've created that on that frame what I want to do is insert a keyframe at, at 30 which we've been using a lot that frame just as a reference but anywhere you want depending on how long you want it to take for the fade to to fade in or out so I'm gonna insert a keyframe there and now go back to frame one on this layer click on the, the symbol because if you don't click on the symbol it's going to maybe default to you clicking on the canvas and then it's going to give you the properties for that but in reality you don't want the properties of the canvas you want the properties of the symbol so click on the symbol that we've created for our text and now we're given some additional options here um, color and let me just show you some of the things we can do if we pick alpha first here's what's uh, interesting if you don't expand this you're not going to see your other options so I'm going to grab the, the properties tab and move it out on its own now you see there was an option we're missing over here where we have a percentage so you notice we can have the percentage at zero percent right that's what we're going to start at had the alpha at zero and then at the end we're going to click on the symbol and we want the alpha back to 100 percent now we're going to use a motion tween in between the two and notice what effect we have like so now what we can do is have it fade back out to zero so let's go to 60 create another keyframe here and now we're at alpha 100 percent but now we're gonna go back to click on our symbol now I'm gonna make the alpha go back to zero that way when it loops um, it'll look like it's just fading in and out so if we played the video from here to fade in and then oh I didn't create my motion tween so gotta remember to do that now we'll try it fade in fade out so depending on how 
quickly you want it to fade in, you would have made maybe uh, your keyframes um, less than 30, like I began with, and then less than 60. So we'll test the movie. Interesting, huh? All right. So that's fading in um, lettering. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fade in some pictures. So, move this down a little bit. I'm going to insert another layer, and I'm going to delete the one that we were on, just because I don't want to clear it out. It's almost easier just to create a new one. All right, and I'm going to eliminate these frames here, remove frames. All right, now we're back to what we normally start with. 30 frames. Okay, so, oops, I must have moved properties too high, so we're back there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to import a few pictures to our library. I'm going to, these are just sample pictures from Windows. Um, actually from Vista, so we're going to insert garden and I should have selected more because you don't have to choose one at a time you can use control and pick forest winter leaves like so and insert them both at the same time now if we look at our library, there they are the symbol we created for test fade, which we deleted, so I'm just going to delete the symbol. And now forest. Okay, let's move forest onto the stage. Let's reduce it down. Let's free transform it. And I'm going to go down to 25%. And I'm going to hold shift so that I can retain um, my proportions. So now I'm going to go back out to 100% or maybe 75. And I'm going to align it to the middle using our align tool. And now I'm going to convert it to a symbol. Movie clip. Hit OK. And now I'm going to insert a keyframe here. Now I'm going to go back to our first frame, click on our symbol. Now this time I'm going to choose alpha, and I want you to notice the difference here. I'm going to move properties tab up so that I can see it a little better. Oops, brought it over there accidentally. All right, so the alpha is at zero. So fading in and out. So we can also change the brightness. And the brightness, basically, we could start dark like so and move in like that. So this kind of gives us two ends of the spectrum. So what I'm going to do is for our beginning one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it at um, alpha because I do want to fade it in from zero and I want it to end at this keyframe oh, select our symbol I do want it to end back at a hundred percent alpha now I'm gonna have it quickly fade to a darker color. So I'm going to insert a keyframe at 40 and now I'm going to grab that symbol again, click it. But This time I'm going to choose brightness and I'm going to lower the brightness to, that sounds about right, about 58 percent. Now I'm going to put our tweens in here. So, whoops, motion tween and put a motion tween here, like so. Now if we play from the beginning, it's going to go from zero 
to full and then darken. So now what I'm going to do is grab our other pictures, the garden. And you first remember how big this was, 199.8 by 149.9, which actually, actually I'm going to make these smaller. So I'm going to grab garden, move it here, free transform, I'll have to go back out to 25%, hold down shift, and I'm going to make this a little smaller, but I'm not sure how small quite yet. And I'm going to put it, go back to our select tool, move it right here. This is 130 by, I'm going to make it a little more even, I'm just going to go 135 by 100. That way I can remember it when I bring the other ones in. So I'm just going to do one more here to illustrate this. Ah, but here's my problem. I brought it in. Well, I can still convert it to a symbol. So what I'll do is I'll convert to symbol. See, I brought it in because I want to bring it in on a different layer. But I can still convert it to a symbol. That way I can just use the symbol at a later date. So I'm just going to call it symbol 2. But I'm going to delete it from the timeline because what I'm going to do is create another layer here. Actually, two more layers. Bring this down a little bit so I can see it better. All right, now I'm going to go to um, this next layer, and that's when I'm going to bring symbol two in, right about here. And I'm going to insert a keyframe right there. And what I'm going to do is have it fade in at 60. So I'm going to insert another keyframe there. And on the initial frame here, I'm going to oops. change the alpha level as we did before. But I need to move the properties tab out to see it all. Um, and the alpha is going to start at, at 0. And then by the end here, by the last keyframe, it'll be at um, at our motion tween in between. So it will start off as zero and then come in. We need to extend out um, our previous layer by inserting a keyframe. And now, from this point, I want it to also to fade um, over a period about the same as the first, which was about 10. So from 60 to 70, insert a keyframe here. But now what I'm going to do is go from this to our last one, which is going to be click on our symbol, brightness. That way I can darken it down to our 58% approximately, like we did before. Add our tween effect in between. And now if we start from the beginning of our timeline and watch this, I'll add one more just to show you. So let's go to layer 5. And let's grab our flowers here. Winter leaves, actually. Ah. I'm going to insert a keyframe here because this is where I want to bring it. And I believe we chose mm, K 
can't remember now the size we chose, so I'll have to go click on it. 135 by 100. Okay, so I'm going to go back up here to our layer 5. 135 by 100. Change the size to that. All right. And now I'm going to bring it down here. I'm going to convert it to a symbol. Movie clip, it's fine. Zoom back in to this. And now from this point, I'm going to have a keyframe 60, 70, 80, 90. I think 90. Insert another keyframe here. But now I'm going to click on our object there. And we're also going to fade this object in. So, I am going to click on the object, go to alpha, the alpha is at zero, which is what I want, and I want it to end at um, the alpha being full, like so, and now we're going to extend out our keyframes for our other two layers. Oh, we forgot to add our motion tween, which is our last thing we need to do. Like so. And that's it. So let's test movie. Ah, and we see that there is one error. This started out bright. So let's see why that's the case. Let's go back to layer 4. Take a look at our timeline here. Ah, we need to delete this occurrence here of this symbol. And now we should be fine. Fade in of that, darken it, and then bring in the other one fade in. Darken it, and then bring in the other one fade in. Okay, perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. So, now when we test it, we see our main picture fade in, then starts to darken, and then this one fades in here, and then starts to darken, and then this one fades in, and then it repeats. So you could keep doing that by adding different layers, and you've seen this effect on websites a lot. So, practice that, and you'll have some fun.